My name is Amara. Um, I voted for the first time during the 2019 general elections. Coming from a political science academic background, I always knew that as citizens, especially young people, our voices are hardly heard. So that was my own chance to take a stand. The biggest success in 2019 elections were the presence of young people voting and being voted for. I'm talking to my friends and they're like, Kune, you're on the neck of a political party. I am not a 40. I am not a youth leader. That's like, great. What next? And I'm like, okay, yeah, what next? I aspired for the office of Senate in the FCT in 2019. I believe that the Not Too Young to Run law made more young people to come out into the election scene because um, young people feel more comfortable when they see people in their age grade in a particular place. And just the campaign for the Not Too Young to Run itself like piqued a lot of people's interest. If you ask me about Not Too Young to Run bill, yes, it's good, but reducing age is not the only thing that hampers young people from aspiring for politics. I'll be honest, in any vote in Nigeria, Youth votes are always game changer. But the problem is who the youth are actually voting for. I believe that young candidates didn't get votes from young people because I don't say they didn't use the right techniques. Like, people didn't really know them, to be honest. If I were to rate everything, that's INEC, people, everything, I would have given us about maybe 35%. If I'm given the opportunity to be the next INEC chairman, the first thing I would do is allow anybody who has a PVC to vote wherever they are. If we had a unified database, police, immigrations, everybody together, we wouldn't need to be looking for people for PVCs.